Ladies, please. It's 1851. Ugly superstition can only mar the great beauty of our scientific era. Navigator Taylor, friend of the family and Christian man of science at your service. I am sorry for your loss. I'm sure your husband was a very holy man. Harbury died the same way your husbands did, trying to provide for his family. They knew the risks, and they made it as far as Sumatra from what the paper said. That means Harbury got them through South Sea squalls, the pirates and typhoons of the Indian Ocean. He faced down boat-stoving leviathans, untold numbers of reefs. That takes fine captaining and fancy navigating, I should know. Was Harbury thinking about Beatrice when his ship went down? What else is there to think about all alone out there in the briny deep? Ain't a sailor afloat who thinks about anything else. Your Simon was no different, I'd wager. But we don't let the memories of the women we've left behind get in the way of safely sailing our ship. I wouldn't even let my daughter do that. And you women are in the same boat with Beatrice. You can't let the memories of your husbands deter you from keeping the ship of this community afloat. She only knew him for a week before he shipped out. Why you can no more blame her for his actions than you can a whale for being allergic to harpoons.